Hey everyone, this is a guitar tutorial for A Thousand Hallelujahs by Brooke Frazier. Oh, I'm sorry, Brooke Lighterwood. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel or give this video a like and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Additionally, if you're interested in any of the gear that you see today, there are links in the description below. All right, grab your acoustic guitar and a capo and let's get started. All right, so you'll notice my capo is on the first fret. We're going to be playing in the key of C to match the original key, which is C sharp. So let's go for the following chords you need to know. C, G, A minor, F, D minor, G over B, and C over E. Okay, let's knock out two chords with one shape. You can play C over E and C with the same shape. Let me explain. Put your index finger on the B string, first fret, middle finger on the D string, second fret, ring finger on the A string, third fret. Now, if I avoid strumming the low E, that's just a regular C chord. But if I include the low E, it's a C over E. Subtle difference, but if you don't have a bass player, it's very important to play that chord. All right, next would be G. And again, you can play two chords with the shape, technically. You can play G over B as well. So, so put your middle finger on the low E string, third fret, index finger A string, second fret, and your ring finger and pinky are gonna go on the B string and high E string, third fret. Now to play G over B, just avoid strumming that low E string again. And there you have it, A, G over B. Next would be A minor. You can get away with an A minor 7, which is a simpler shape. Index finger, again, on the first fret, just like the C chord, B string, and then middle finger, D string, second fret. And you can strum this as an A minor 7, like it is now. Or if you add your ring finger on the G string, second fret, it becomes a regular A minor chord. Again, avoid strumming the low E string. For F, you could play it multiple ways, but I like to play it the easy way, which would be kind of like an F2. And it's almost like a C suspended if you're familiar with that. Put your index finger again on the B string, first fret, middle finger on the D string, second fret, ring finger on the A string, third fret, just like the C chord, but I'm just going to add the pinky. Now I'm going to take something off. I really don't need my middle finger, so I can keep that off the strings, and now I'm going to strum from the A string on down. This is F. But did you notice that I strummed the high E, so I'm going to avoid strumming that, and now I have an official F2. So don't strum the high E. Now, you can mute the low E with your thumbs. You'll just have to avoid strumming the high E with your pick. Now, you can also mute that with your index finger. And it kind of works as well. Another chord you'll need to know is D minor. Put your ring finger on the B string, third fret, middle finger, G string, second fret, index finger, high E, first fret. This one's pretty easy. Just avoid strumming the low E and low A. And that about does it for chords. If you can't get G over B, you can still do G. And if you can't get C over E, you can just stick with C. It doesn't really matter that much unless you don't have a bass player in your band. You might want to make sure you can play those chords to fill in the gaps for the song. Strumming pattern is just an easy up and down eighth note pattern. We'll go over it after the song is done. We're going to play through it. And don't worry, I'm going to put the chords on screen for you. And I'll say the chords as we go along. So here we go. C, F, C, C, F, C, same chords, C, F, C, C, F, C, F, G, A minor, G, F, hold the F chord, G, C, F, C, G, A 
C G C C again F C C F C F G A minor G F F again G C F C G A minor G F C G A minor G F G C C over E A minor G F C G C D minor C F G C D minor C F G same chords C D minor C F G A minor G over B C F G A minor G over B C Hope that I was able to help you out with that tutorial. Let's go over a strumming pattern very quickly. Like I said, it's just an eighth note up and down pattern, especially near the end when everybody's in in the band. So let's go over a full chorus just near the end, starting on an F. C, G, A minor, G, F, C, G, A minor, G, now if I slow that down, you'll notice that I start with a down strum and I'm just going up and down, just alternate strumming. So for example, more time, same chords, I'll call them out and I'll go a little slower. F. C. G. A minor. G. F. So 
you might note that a lot of the parts in the song the guitar isn't playing at all or it's very low in the mix and for those parts you can finger pick like I did and I'm not going to show you exactly what I did I want you to do something that is on your own that you can create by yourself um, and I know that might be hard for you but try your best you can use a pick to help you and just go you know one string at a time down and then back up or you can make a, an alternate picking pattern with your fingers whatever works for you and whatever works for the band all right thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that like button and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future thanks so much for watching guys have a great day god bless